Hello, everyone. My name is Chen Su. Uh, my PhD program is jointly supported by Welcome Graduate School and uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. And uh, one of the main topics of our lab is uh, computational pathology, which is mainly dealing with uh, HND stand histology image of cancer patients. So uh, one of the tasks we're considering is about uh, cellular nuclei detection of those kind of images. And why we're interested in this task is because, like when we talk about end-to-end -end mapping from the uh, cancer slides to downstream applications, like prediction of diagnosis, treatment, prognosis, it's always like people run down to uh, tiling of the whole slide because it's too big. But if we do cell detection, we can use uh, the features learned by solving this task, or we can directly use the coordinates, which is the output of the detection algorithm, and so that we can get engineered uh, descriptors, which are more interpretable, and solve the downstream applications. That's another way. So um, basically, cell nuclear detection in histology slides are usually defined as predicting X and Y coordinates in instead of a bunny box because the cells are small, and it's a lot of burden on pathologists to do the annotation. And uh, most existing methods are trying to predict a map, uh, predict a peak, actually, around the annotation ground truth location. And after that, they can do a post-process and usually non-maximum suppression of the surrounding pixels, and then we get the final output of the coordinates. So this is our method. We try to solve two problems of the previous um, methods. One is that we found that non-maximum non suppression takes a lot of time on this kind of dense prediction. It's basically pixel-wise probability regression. And the other thing is that sometimes when, when cells are too close to each other, those peaks kind of merge together. So to solve this problem, we propose a method using encoder, decoder, and every block is a residual uh, block. And we output three maps, basically. And one is uh, given the confidence of being a cell. The other predict the vector, which moves those confidence to its target location, which are supposed to ideally should be the ground truth uh, coordinates. And we also weight the contribution of every confidence we moved. And this is a uh, live VOCA in live middle. This is the um, confidence map. And we weight it. And we then tell the weighted confidence how to move. And I generate this video. Uh, this, this is a GIF based on the trajectory. And the result is uh, clear. We have a very sparse response in the end. So the post-processing became much faster. And the, the threshold we choose for non-maximum non suppression became very robust. And also, uh, in our poster, we will show quantitatively uh, that it's very accurate uh, on prediction of the cell coordinates. And we're using this method for large-scale downstream applications. Thanks. This is our lab.